Hi guys, welcome back. So today um, we'll be doing another deck review. So um, we have a mini Kai over here, right? So he'll be with us today for deck review. So um, today the deck that we are gonna review is uh, this. If you can see this, yeah. Maybe I shall. Uh, okay. Alright, um, so today we're going to review the um, Suit Dragon. This is the Inferno Blockage, the Cross Ride. That um, some say isn't that strong. So today we'll be showing uh, how we can really make this work. So um, the important thing about this um, Suit Dragon is that his ability to control the field. So with uh, many of the great tools and uh, and the great zero that uh, allows you to retire your opponent rear guard and uh, your opponent get to check the top four cards and uh, call a great two among them if there's any so um, before we go on so let's look at the great three lineup so I have if I play three um, I play three of this uh, suit block pitch inferno dragon suit inferno Right, um, this is the cross right. His ability is that you at limit break 4, you counter blast 2, and you can retire your opponent's grid 2 rear guards. And uh, you add 10k to it to him. Right, and if you have the um, great, uh, great 3 10k seal blockage in the soul, he plus 2k. So this is like the typical um, cross right. Right. His ability is quite strong in the sense that you can retire all the great two, and I'll tell you why later. So we have played three of this. And then we will have three of dollars. Alright, um even though it is true that um it this is a cross right deck, but um the ability itself isn't uh, strong enough to uh, pull off substantial advantage in the long run. So um having dollars, even though it's not a seal dragon uh, will help to push for a uh, high attack. So, for example, if you have your, you have your dollars, and then at limit break four, you manage to get uh, your suit dragon, right? So you ride it. So it's like a twenty one k alone, and then you use the skill to counter blast two of your suit dragon damage, in the damage zone, and you retire your opponent grade two, and it adds another ten k. So alone itself is a thirty one k vanguard. At f and at 4th damage, and if let's say your opponent is at 4th damage as well, he may want to guard for it if you are running uh, crits and stuff like that, which is uh, can be quite potent. He may have to throw uh, up to like 2 Kanzen, that's the minimum. If let's say uh, you would use the dollar skill as well to stand him up again, it's like 31k. You need about um, um, 3, 3 of the uh, 10k to uh, guard for 1 attack. If let's say your opponent is a 11k Vanguard. So yeah, so um, total, we run three. So there's three of the dollars, and then um, of course uh, not to forget the cross right um of this whole entire suit dragon thing. We actually had uh, two of this uh suit dragon. Block it. No, it's not really very strong. It's just uh anybody that have the great two rear guards cannot intercept. So in a way that you call you you make your opponent call the real grade two rear guard on the field, but because they can't intercept, they have to choose to retire their own grade two in order to put a booster behind or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. So that's the eight grade three. So moving on to the grade two, we have four. Four of these um, nine k and the twelve k beater. When your vanguard is a um suit dragon. So uh, this pretty much helps to hit uh, all the cross rights with a 12k and any 6k behind will help to force your opponent to um, guard for 10k even though it's a cross right. So just get four of that. And then uh, here comes the key card of the deck. This is the Great 2 Suit Dragon. Um, the ability for this is that you counter blast one of a Suit Dragon in the damage zone and then your and choose one of your opponent rear guard to retire. 
So um, this is a very controlled style of play. You can retire the booster that is behind the vanguard because most of the booster is like um, insanely trying to push you know, like 10k boosters or even 8k boosters behind a 13k vanguard. Yeah, you can swing for 21. And if you keep retiring the uh, booster behind, um, you probably can control the play better given that uh, you have to guard less against uh, your opponent. And um, but the downside for this card is that um, your opponent get to choose a grade 2 from the top 4 uh, cards that they check after you retire their rearguard and call it to the field. So um, in using this uh, card's effect, you probably have to be careful. Um, some of the tips that I can give is that um, before using the skill for this card, uh, maybe you can see if your opponent drive check a grade 2 or if let's say they call tons of grade 2 out onto the field, you know that probably the next few cards will be a great two at all, and stuff like that, right? So um, this is a very strong card. So upon calling all the great two, your blockade will stop them from uh, being able to intercept, and your suit inferno, right? It will pro it will stop. You will probably retire them all with uh, two color blasts, right? So this is the four. Kai, right? So and then. To finish up the grade 2 lineup, I have uh, 3 of the 10k vanillas. Nothing much, this is just so that you can hit uh, some of the rear guards and to help uh, hit some of the uh, 11k vanguards and stuff. Okay, so that's for my grade 2. For grade 1, I only run 12 grade 1s and I'll tell you later why. Um, you can choose to run more, but uh, I, I find that it's pretty much consistent to run uh, a minimum of 12 grade 1s. So uh, here it is. I have 4 of the um, 7k plus 3k when your vanguard is the uh, suit dragon when attacking. During attack, plus 3k if your vanguard is a suit dragon. Um, it's pretty much good in the sense that, for example, in front you have a uh, grade 2 and then you, uh, after finish intercepting with it, you can move it to the front and then use it to attack. Right, so um, it's a 10k bit stick at its minimum and a pretty good 7k booster. And then, <coughs> of course, same thing. Uh, most of my decks run four perfect guards, so over here I've run four perfect guards. Um, reasons being because of all the break rights and the limit break, and some of them even have like extra creeds and stuff like that. You always want to have one in your hand in a situation like that when it happens. And then I run a four of this. This one is a uh, suit dragon as well, but uh, its effect can be applied to any Kagero deck. The thing is that if your opponent has a great two, Rear guard or vanguard, and when you call this to this rear guard, rear guard zone, yeah, when you call the rear guard circle, uh, you can drop one card and draw one card. Um, I find this a, a little bit better than the previous uh, Kagero, uh, the monk, I believe, Gojo or something like that. Yeah, because Gojo requires you to rest it, so you basically wasted a booster in trying to switch a card, dead card in your hand or something like that. Whereas for this, um, you can just call it. So and you just can switch it and you can still use it to boost in the turn that you're about to um battle and stuff like that. So yeah. So these are my twelve um great ones. So here is the interesting part for my great zero. Right. The starter that I use is um not Terry Cross. Um basically because um uh, most of the time um you need to cross right, right? Either you have to cross right, you probably have to search for one of the other great three. Uh, and being 8 cards only in the deck, um, you probably need to search for the extra grade 3 to cross right. Or even in the case of the dollars, where you have to write your uh, vanguard over it to make use of the uh, dollars effect. Um, yeah, you have to search for an extra uh, grade 3. So this kind of becomes my starter. However, I played 2 Terry Cross. Well, um, the reason why I played 2 is because I find that um, 4 of the grade 2 that allows you to retire any of your opponent's vanguard is not few control enough. And the cost of uh, using either the grade 2 or the grade 0 for this case is simply just counter blast 1. And um, throughout the entire deck, uh, there isn't much need to use counter blast at all. Uh, other than the fact of this grade 0, the grade 2, and the grade 3 infernal suit dragons that requires uh, suit dragons to counter blast in your damage zone to use the effect. So um, I, tr I threw in two of this. So um, in a way that <coughs> if let's say I know that my opponent has a pretty uh, strong starter, um, like maybe like um, 
I, I'm not sure like Spring Breeze and stuff like that. Um, I could probably use his effect early in game, or maybe if I know that my my opponent doesn't have a great two in hand, I may try to do this so I can force a great two to appear in their in their rear guard zone so that they continue to miss great along the game and stuff like that. Yeah, so um. I may switch between this starter and this starter, but yeah, basically this two helps me. And uh, having an extra 5k each of uh, guarding uh, wouldn't kill. So yeah, I run two extra of this. So for my trigger lineup, it's uh, pretty much typical. I, r I ran 8 crit, so I ran 4 of the Draco kit. Right? Uh, 4 crit and a Draco kit. Not sure if you can see it because of the reflection, yeah. So here, four of the dragon kit, and uh, four of the new sleep dragon uh, tri triggers. Right, so let me show it again. Right, and the reason why I choose Draco kit over other crit triggers from Kagero is because I find that it blends in the best. Yeah, it's like dragon and stuff like that. The rest is like tar. It's like a humanoid and stuff. And yeah, uh, I mean, look at the. Look at the art and stuff like that. It seems like they have been drawn by the same person. So, um, yeah. But of course, it isn't. <laughs> so then uh, we have the four draw triggers, right? Um, this draw triggers is very good, uh, as I mentioned in the <coughs> um, booster opening. Um, this one allows you to um, make magic numbers easily. And uh, in a situation where you have to write block it, over dollars, um, it's a 10k boost, and you can see that this is only a 10k, you know. And um, nowadays, uh, most of the uh, vanguards are at like 11k, and to remain at um, 20k will only forces them to throw like 15k to guard for two pass. So um, by having this, I so charge I can, I can I can make my block it at uh, 13k vanguard. It can hit the cross rights. It can hit anything. So, and even let's say you have a, um, for example, you want to swing for 20 over K, and you have like <clears throat> your uh, 12K beta and a 6K um, booster at the back and stuff like that. With this uh, 3K, you can swing to 21K. So it's uh, pretty much a a really good card to use. And, and first I run four of this, and because it's also the suit dragon, and you want to run as many suit dragons as possible so that it doesn't get into your damage zone. And of course... For huge triggers, right? So um, basically, this deck has been working pretty well for me. Um, the only problem sometimes I face will be that um, I don't I don't get um, this or this early game, and neither do I get this, and I only have to rely solely on um, the cross right, and the cross right alone isn't very strong because uh, at most it can swing for about eighteen k on its own, with the seven k booster at the back, and uh, it doesn't create much of a pressure. It only has the ability to retire your opponent grade two uh, in a long in a long game. If let's say your opponent still decides to come up with the grade two to let you retire, um, but at the cost of counter blast two. So um, the whole entire point of this deck is not to rely um, too much on the grade three for win, but uh, rely on the grade two and the grade zero, as well as uh, some of the ability to control the field, um, and then to try to push for a final final turn with a dollars eventually. Uh, writing dollars and then you have your great tree again right over it and and thus this card uh, this starter becomes a very important card so I guess that's about it um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, deck review for this uh, suit block it of course um, this is just my opinion of how it should be played um, there are many other possibilities uh, I, I know some people who play stance so that um, you can control the field even better so try experimenting it around and uh, that's all for today and say bye bye.